episode 111. On today's episode, we're getting to the latest uh, of the news. And uh, news is coming slow nowadays. Yeah. News is really trickling in. Um, unfortunately, this is the time of year where most of the news is uh, athletes getting in trouble. Yeah, because they just bored. Right on time. They're yeah. just bored millionaires and don't know what to do with their time or their money. Yeah. They can't work out all day, so they're just kind of, you know. But on today's episode, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a nice little discussion. We're gonna go through every division and rank them pre-draft. Kind of just get let's get a little snapshot yeah. of each team real quick because um, we gotta go through all thirty-two teams mm-hmm. and um, and see where they are. Like yeah, because the draft a, a lot of things can happen. Not only for who you draft, but who might be traded. Exactly. You know, a, a Brandon Ayuk. Yeah. You know, a, a a Justin Jefferson. Stephon Diggs is kind of in. Stephon you know, Diggs. You know whatever. What what the, what are the Broncos gonna do? Yeah. Please. T- I don't want to talk. Just move up. Get someone good, please, Sean. I'm talking to you, Sean Payton, friend of the show. <laughs> yeah, no, I've pretty much slandered him a lot of times, though. Yeah, I don't think he's a friend of the show. At I don't point. think he is either. <sighs> Sorry, Sean. Yeah, I re- I really went after him last time. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's where we lost him. <laughs> oh, Sean. I think he was giving us a real chance before that. He probably knowing Sean, he probably doesn't listen to any. Knowing podcast. Sean, <laughs> me, you know, me and Sean go way back. Knowing Sean Payton, he probably doesn't listen to any podcast though. Uh, yeah. If you're watching YouTube, welcome to the show. Hey! If it's your first time to the uh, channel, go ahead and like the uh, video you're watching now, and then subscribe to the page for uh, all sorts of football content, good stuff, yeah. draft, fantasy, just football talk, yeah. guys being dudes. Yeah. That's my new phrase. Have you not heard that before? I, I don't know why, you, why Why can I not say it? Yes, I heard it before. Oh. God damn. I'm just, I'm just asking. You're saying it like it's yours, though. Like That's my phrase. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, it's my signature line. You, I, I, okay, so... You go through stages of life where you pick up like, hey, mm. this this now means something to me. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Let's think of a. I want to think of an example of that. What in high school did you like have an epiphany of like, okay, that's what that meant. I know it's gonna go sexual, and that's fine. <laughs> you said high school. Uh, um, well, I didn't know when people said like it's been a minute. I didn't realize that means a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? No, honestly, that is the perfect no, example. Until, until high school, That's like, exactly what no, I'm talking because about. Because someone said it, and I was like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah. And I was like, oh, a long, you know, it's, yeah, that's kind that's of the perfect example. where I was. I remember the day it happened. That's all we need. If you're listening on, it's taking me so long to get through this first part. Uh, Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon, uh, wherever you get your podcast. Thanks so much for joining the audio version of Bench, mm-hmm. the Bench podcast. And of course, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Search at Bench Show to keep up with all those platforms. A lot Spell of- like this. A lot going on, and uh, let's do a little uh, on this day. It is April Fool's, by the way, uh, that we're recording this. You're going to hear this on April 2nd, but as of now, it's April Fool's Day. Yeah. And um, I thought we'd do, let's do April Fool's jokes gone wrong. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, Love it. Go in, 20, sorry, in 2001, Hooters did a Toyota contest stating that um, whoever sold the most sodas won a free Toyota. Okay. At the end of the day, the manager blindfolded the winning employee, led her outside to the parking lot, and presents her with a toy Yoda. Wow. Wow. Screw you, dude. A plastic doll uh, from Star Wars. We know that. Uh, the waitress, upset, sued for breach of contract, <laughs> fraudulent misrepresentation, Out and was girl. ultimately awarded enough money to buy a Toyota herself. Out a girl! Out a girl! Good for her. What a stupid manager. I like this one because it sticks to the government. Here we Firefire go. Firefighter Tenny Pierce, a veteran of the LAFD, was awarded 1.4 mil. Why? Oh, because the because a co co-worker on April Fool's Day snuck dog food into his dinner as a joke. The firefighter sued for racial harassment, <laughs> emotional distress, and retaliation and failure to investigate. The city of LA paid 1.6 million to Not this a man. Boy, a million dollars for for some dog food? Really that's, good. That's pretty good. I mean, did wow. he look like a dog at least? Like Whoa. I mean, if he did, there's so many ways <laughs> we can go with this one. Let's just. I don't know. I feel like I'm not gonna touch that. I'm not touching that. Uh, it was racial. You don't want to touch that. If you don't, yeah. Yeah, yes. you did say. All the things Angel will talk about. I'm not messing with dogs. <laughs> dogs are a no go. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> draw the line. <laughs> this is my. A man's got to stand for something. <laughs> I, this is where I stop it. Uh, last one here. Southwest Airlines Albuquerque had a practice of initiating new employees by successfully completing. Oh, oh, who successfully completed their probation? New workers were arrested. That's a terrible joke. That, I already know. That's that's. Uh, this is so already going back. Airline, at an airline, they were so arrested. hey, you you uh, you completed your probation. As April, a joke, we're going to arrest you by the airport fools. police, who were also in on the prank. They got the police in on the prank. Uh, however, the problem arose when one employee, Macy Fausterbach. Oh, oh, Fausterbach. That's a Karen. <laughs> Fausterbach. She's going to get you. Fausterbach. Uh, a new. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's got to be a nickname for her. Go ahead. She was arrested, take away in handcuffs in front of passengers and her colleagues. Oh. The prank created serious emotional distress. Yep. yep. She was later diagnosed with post-traumatic stress wow. disorder. <laughs> Well, if you're um, like arrested at work in front of all your coworkers, yeah, that's kind of. She was awarded millions by Southwest Airlines and the airport police. Not a girl. See, it, uh, what what show or movie am I thinking of where the joke is either uh, too small? That's Winston from New Girl. Yes, yep. have you guys seen yep. that? He's yep. not a prank. It's either too big or like too small. Yeah, these are way too big. He's like, hey, check your shoe. Yeah, I left yeah, a yeah. feather. Like, yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. a prank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Or, or like, or like you ruined a wedding. I think there's a, <laughs> like dropping a wreck, a badger. I think, I think there's an age limit to April Fools, and these I, people who got sued here didn't understand it. There's not an age limit. Yeah. This, is, this is a bad joke. Or, or limit. like a line that you don't cross. Yeah, I feel like you're working for the airport, and you got you recruited the police to yeah um, like arrest. It's like you know how uh, <laughs> that's just so like stupid at the airport. Be, yeah, the airport's like you already feel tense there because even though you're just Aye. going on the flight. There's cops everywhere. You feel kind of whatever. Mm. You guys want to do this day on history? Last time I did, you guys made fun of me. Let's uh, do, we're let's making fun of you. April 1st. Kind of from the History Channel. So joking day. This is back from the History Channel. So Here we go. That. Here we on go. this day in 1970, <laughs> President Nixon signed a legislation banning oh, yeah, cigarette ads on TV and radio. We've come a long way as a country. Wow. That's all we see now. Gabe, this yeah. one's for you, man. All right, here we go. On this day, 1984, Marvin Gaye shot and killed by his father. Mm. Shout out Marvin on Gaye. April Tomorrow Fools. is actually his birthday. Oh, dear. Was, that that kind of adds to that. Got a lot darker. He was killed before his birthday. I'm trying to... This is, a, this is a very sad day. I'm trying to stay away from the ones where just massive casualties happen. <laughs> yeah, that's... Um, 1972, the first MLB player strike begins. Honestly, it's a bad day. It's a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a bad day for history, yeah. and, and we need to move on. It's a yeah. Player strike. <laughs> player strike. That's honestly the funniest thing I could find on here. So like, shot Marvin Gaye. It's been a very sad day. <laughs> Marvin Gaye's dad kills him day for his birthday. Hey, strikes. shout out to Turner around uh, April 2nd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm Make it better. Let's turn that one around. Have a great April 2nd today yeah. and make some new some some new history. Yeah. Um, that's all I got. You guys, what's the, uh, you got any April Fool's uh, stories, jokes, things you pulled on people? No, I don't think I'm much of a prankster like that. I don't think I've ever. Had I, I don't, I'm not. I've never been a big April Fool's person. Yeah. I just think it's April. Stupid. I don't have time to plan. <laughs> See how much I, I'm just go to work, and the joke is that I got to go to work for eight hours today. That's the joke. <laughs> yeah. The joke yeah. is what I make. On yeah. the <laughs> the joke's you, my paycheck. You know, what I'm not here for the freaking Twitter. Yeah. Trolls. The, um, I saw so many like I'm Justin pregnant. Jeffers. No. What? No, I saw that's on Instagram a lot. <laughs> On Instagram a lot, there's a bunch I of mean, girls. Now, did you tweet that? There's a bunch of girls like, oh, like, I'm pregnant. You and it's like, me. following. I would love to see the breakdown of Angel's algorithm. <laughs> like, Angel's, like, like not, what the... I tell you what, I have a great time every time I go on God, social media. what social media is doing to you. I'm just, they should study you. I saw a Bronco page <laughs> that Russell Wilson has uh, has edited his contract where the Broncos don't get a deck I cap. saw that. I yeah. saw that. Uh, and I was like, this is... You see that one, Terrell? I saw it. Yeah. And uh, did you kind of believe it? Because you wanted to? Uh, yeah, there was a little bit. I was like, okay, I'm, no. It's, you know, because everyone it's, it's on April Twitter 1st. now has a has a blue check mark, yep. so you don't know who to believe. That was one of the worst things that happened to social yeah, media. I don't, yeah. who, I don't know who okayed that. That blue check mark was such a safety. You're like, okay, this is for real. Now everyone has blue, a, a you blue know, check You know, like mark. when you're a kid and it's like, you saw an adult, it's like, okay, it's okay. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was like, okay, that's an adult. A blue check on mark. On Twitter. Yeah. Like, I could trust that. Now it's some random guy. <sighs> now there's 18 Adam Schefters. With a blue yep. check mark. I'll mm-hmm. tell you what, companies can't release real news on April 1st or nobody's going to take it seriously. You literally can't. Because I didn't know, like, there was real yeah. things being announced today and I didn't yeah. know what was real and what wasn't. Yeah. I saw some company was doing a giveaway and they're like, no, 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 for real. <laughs> <laughs> like, for this is like not a joke. Not fall for Even it. when they say for real, you can't trust <laughs> yeah. it. Like, this is. So I think um, final score, we're not big fans of it. No. no. No, not at all. Let's get to the news. I want to stop like uh, naming shows after the content. That's the right thing to do, like as a YouTube channel or podcasting mm-hmm. thing. I want to start giving them like a like a more dramatic title. <laughs> like this one, I would call I would call it fucking Caitlin Clark. You know what I'm saying? But that's terrible for the algorithm. Yeah. <laughs> like people would be like, "What show is this?" Like, yeah, yeah, it's all yeah. That's a lot of weird ways that that could be taken. Uh, let's start here. Legendary. Uh, coach of the New England Patriots, Bill Belichick, is writing a book. Oh, Billy boy. What you know, a boring Bill? book. No, no, <laughs> no. At what? It's a Bill Belichick. It's going to be a boring book. Okay. No, you're wrong. You know how many, how much crap has been coming out against Bill Belichick? This is Chance Archer. You know what? Let me tell yeah, you. He doesn't talk to the media anyways. It's gonna let let me tell book. my story. Yep. 
Okay. This what, how, what, is, what would you love for him to talk about? That's what I want to hear from you. Matt Slater. That, uh, one chapter is going to be dedicated towards like special teams. Angel's not in on this. Not no, in. no, no. What, no. Terrell, he, go. He's, he's got to talk about Deflategate. Yeah. Yep. He's, I, I want to yep. talk about Deflategate or Spygate for yeah. sure. I want to hear like, what he says about Tom. When about, he left. About like the ending days of mm-hmm. him and Tom. I want to hear his side. Mm-hmm. We've heard yeah. everyone else's side. You know, I want to hear if from, Robert Kraft si- if he sided with Tom or did he side, he side with Bill on certain yes. things. Yes. Anything specific you guys want to hear? I just haven't read a book in forever. This is the first, <laughs> the first book I've read in years. It's going to be crazy. I can't wait. <laughs> you know, speaking of that, you haven't read a book in a while, but you love movies. Who's going to play Bill Belichick? Oh, they cast Patri- it? Yeah, let, let's, let's, let's cast our Patriots movie. Terrell, Russell, that's a fantastic question. Russell Crowe. You got Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. Yeah, playing you know what? He's put on the LBs too. He yep. Yep. Fit the, uh, fit the playing him. Yep. Russell Crowe playing mm. Bill Belichick. I'm going Harrison Ford. <laughs> the Harrison Ford is killing mm, They're going to cast <laughs> Gary Oldman. <laughs> What's his name? Who's Mark. That? Uh, oh, God. Um, Ruffalo. Marky Mark. Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. Yeah. They're going to cast Mark Wahlberg because he's from Boston. He represents every, everything Boston is. That, Just do the accent. That's like, who they're going to call it. Bill didn't have an accent. Why he, is he so fit? He's from. <laughs> <laughs> that's who they're going to cast. I Tell like. Uh, I don't know. Is Damon old enough yet? No. Damon's. No. No. Someone from that side of the. You know. I'm trying to see his face. And like, obviously, it's probably not an older person. Well, Nicholson's it's probably, probably like a old. young. Uh, yeah, he's nah, way too yeah. old. That's too old. <laughs> That's like he's older than Bill. <laughs> Help him to his seat at the Lakers. Yeah. <laughs> what about uh, De Niro? Oh, he's like same. Niro? Same with him too. He's old Niro, too. He's I think he's that. older. He can still bring it. Still he's still it, yeah. I could see De Niro. What was that? The Irishman? Yeah. Was that? He was just in he was uh, good. Killers of the Flower Moon? Yeah. Screw oh, it. Uh, Gary no, Oldman. Uh, Gary Oldman can do it. Okay, who's that? Who am I? Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, Gary Oldman can do it. Didn't he pass away? No, no, he's alive and well with the. Sorry, putting that out there. Is that an April Fool's joke you saw today? No, No. Uh, he will never die. What about Tom Brady? Oh God, Leonardo DiCaprio. It's Brad Pitt. It's Brad Pitt. It's Brad Pitt or nobody else. It's the best looking. Yeah, Rob Lowe, Brad Pitt. Has to be like post. Rob Lowe's not athletic enough. enough. What about Henry Cavill? Superman. Oh, he's that's too athletic. (laughs) (laughs) He's more athletic than Tom. That's Will Levis. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. It would have to be Pitt. Gronkowski. That's Henry Cavill. Oh, that's John Henry Cavill. Cavill. Yeah, John Cena. John, oh, John Cena. Cena. Oh, John Cena. Cena. There you go. John Cena. Cena. Totally John Cena. John Cena's <laughs> and it's not a lot of acting that goes into Rob Gronkowski. Right. And John Cena's really not a great actor. So. Perfect. It's, it's, it's just a perfect hand. fit. We just, we just casted him. Uh, uh, Aaron Hernandez. I was just about to say. <laughs> like, Aaron who's, Hernandez. Who's the guy who ate people? Th- that guy. Oh, uh, Army Hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, Army Hammer. Ooh, wait, Army wait, Hammer literally. Wait, what's happening? There's an actor in Hollywood who came a couple years ago. He literally ate people. What? Nah, he didn't. It, it didn't come out. But he was like texting a girl like, I can't wait to. Well. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like. That's a different type of. <laughs> 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 I was about to say, do I, do, I, do, I, do, I, do I need to explain something to you right now? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to eat her. He's going to eat her. No, 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 no. According but only, to Urban Dictionary. But only this one part. <laughs> no. Get it. Never mind. Who wants to say it? Say it. Say it. Say it. Don't don't say it. Who wants to explain the stage? I'm not saying it. We're moving on. No, he said he was going to eat her. We're going to get flagged. If oh. we explain it. No, no. That's why I stopped. Dear God. God. Any other major figures? Like uh, Edelman. Uh, who's been... Uh, that's just that's Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. That's yeah, Mark Wahlberg. There you go. A tough so kind of... Somehow like, Mark Wahlberg snuck his way into this movie. Because he's the only Boston guy that everyone cast. <laughs> no, no. You Boston know who Mark Wahlberg is? Josh McDaniels. Oh. No, not Mark oh, Wahlberg. You need Matt Damon. Damon. Matt Damon. Matt, yeah. Matt Damon. You need Josh McDaniels. Matt Damon. And then uh, uh, Bill Bryan. Bryan. Oh, who's Robert Kraft? No, no. Robert who's Ben Affleck playing? Bledsoe. But oh. uh, Athlete yeah, plays Bledsoe where he gets hurt. Tang, no, he's only in there for a second. Though. Yeah, you're in there for a moment. he's not a very oh, good no, actor. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Uh, Excuse whoa, me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please tell me a role that he was good at. The town? The accountant? Dang. J-Lo's husband? <laughs> <laughs> and that is a role. That's a full-time actor. It's a, it's a role because a lot of people get cast. It's all different. You know. Gone girl? She, Gone she girl. has open casting. Yeah, open casting. <laughs> what makes me more, re- more relevant? Okay, Ben Affleck. Uh, Bill O'Brien. Before you go. I, I immediately think of uh, who played, um, 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 damn it, Bale, Christian Bale, when he played the politician. Oh, when he played uh, uh, oh, uh, the vice president. Oh, vice Cheney, president. Cheney. 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 Dick, Cheney. Dick Cheney. Cheney. Right? Isn't that yeah. Bill O'Brien? Yeah. And Christian Bale can play anybody. Yeah. Who, who's playing he can play Bill Belichick. Who's playing Giselle? <laughs> who's playing Giselle? Ooh, I Giselle herself. Is it? No, it's got to be like a Gal Gadot. We'll get, we'll get her in there. Gal Gadot. Ooh, Gal Gadot. 
She's past her prime. No, it's got has well, to be someone a little more. <laughs> she's she's that so personally. Prime. We're this show is going everywhere. Um, it's all right. it's, we're it's, casting a it's football a be, it's, movie. It's beginning of April. <laughs> There's um, nothing. We're not. You're not missing anything. <laughs> this is the best stuff out there right only now. Only there was NFL news. There's not a lot. Um, um, we are in the news, huh? We've yeah. got, We're one story in. <laughs> uh, well, we just cast it up on all. I don't want to stop. This is incredible. Yeah. Uh, any other like major? We did Robert Kraft. Well, it'll yeah. be like Wes Rand, Welker, like Randy, Moss. Randy Moss, Randy Moss, yes. Te- uh, Teddy Bruschi, Bruce, Teddy Bruschi. Yeah. Oh, we got to get Benetieri in there. I mean, he's he's, oh, he's, oh, he's, oh, he's a mainstay. Yeah. Danny Benetieri. Woodhead, get a Woodhead in there. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, you gotta you gotta have Peyton Manning in there. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. we're just, just thinking of just have Warhead. Peyton Manning do Peyton Manning stuff. He's a good enough actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a terrible actor. Well, so is uh, Ben Affleck, and we're still and we just, oh. and we just cast. I'm trying so him? hard to find a place for Jake Gyllenhaal, and I don't know where to put him. <laughs> <laughs> I want him in this movie. He is, be, is he Edelman? He, he might be Edelman. He could be the fan. No, no, he'd be, yeah, he, yeah, he'd be Edelman. <laughs> Love yeah. you, Tom. Yeah. yeah, I could be him. God. I want to do this all day. It's a great movie. Yeah, it's a great movie. It's, yeah. very, it's very expensive. Somehow John Cena made it. <laughs> anyway, uh, Bill Belichick writing a book. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> check it out. Congrats to Bill. Go check it out. Go check it out. Congrats, Bill. Yeah. Uh, we just blew your b- book out of the water though with some an amazing movie. Apparently, no budget. Yeah, <laughs> we just got it. Very, very expensive. Movie very expensive. Uh, uh, next, uh, Jay Ramsey should have been a wide receiver. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, well, to be fair, we've seen a couple of bad videos like this. This is one of the good ones. Watch well, this. Look at this guy. What? What? No, no, it's that guy's a soccer player. He look, uh, his shorts are too high. I don't know. Oh, that's no, that's bad. the way the kids wear him nowadays. Wear him high true. like that. And the, these, what I like at the end is how he mossed it at the end. The high it, point. It's yeah. another. This is another video of athletes doing too much in these camp drills and worrying me about getting hurt. That, that, that's too much. Yeah, I, I didn't like the double team jump ball at the end. Yeah. That's probably not what you want. And then you're landing. But what a get off. Yeah. Look well, at this guy. Honestly, if you wear that sleeve, you deserve that. You said you see the guy wearing the arm sleeve. Yeah, I don't like it. I mean, that guy had that guy must be pretty good. Feel pretty good though. Like I got Moss by at least got Moss by Jalen Ramsey. I was just about to say why they all win number five. Oh, it's Ramsey, Ramsey it's, camp. Uh, let's move on here. Uh, Skip Bayless. <laughs> oh, Skip. <laughs> Skip Bayless is having a rough year, man. 2024 is not his year. This is, it's is about this, time. Is this his COVID year? It's, it's about his, time. This is his April 1st year. Or, or April 2nd year. <laughs> is Skip just barely going through 2020? <laughs> uh, okay. Skip Bayless' Undisputed Show is currently averaging the smallest audience since his return from a hiatus uh, last September for Sports Media Watch. The show averaged fewer than 50,000 fans uh, leading into the NCAA Sweet 16s. Skip Bayless is drowning, guys. I don't, I don't know who's going to save him because everyone hates him. What kind of show would say, who would you need to put next to him to There's save no him? no one to put nobody. You can't, only, sa- you can't save him. There's only one He's guy. unsavable. Who? You, you got to, Stephen A. Smith. Just see if you can get that thing going. That's the only no, guy. God. No one wants to no. save No, no, no. Yeah. It's not going to happen, and it shouldn't happen, and it won't happen. But that's the only way to save no, him is No, what I'm saying, if it Smith. does happen, that's not going to work. No, I, I, well, no one, who wants to see that? Raise your hand. Stephen A. and Skip Bayless again. It's just just twenty years later, <laughs> the reunion. <laughs> yeah, I don't, there's no. I watched thing. one episode, like a reunion episode. Like I, a I watched, no, podcast? no, I had to watch the first one just to see him well, I, again. Then I'm like, oh, okay, I forgot that Skip Bayless is a fucking moron. Who, who's on there? Now? Isn't it like Paul Pierce? It's like it, no, it's uh, it's a uh, it's Richard Sherman, Richard Sherman, oh, Keyshawn yeah. Johnson. Keyshawn Johnson. Oh. <laughs> it's just a bunch of randoms, just, and they're all good in their own realm, but together they're just it's not. Yep. Not you got Lil Wayne on there on Fridays. Every Friday, it's Lil Wayne. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what? Every, every Friday, it's Lil that Wayne. That is called Lil Wayne's uh, pick up those checks. checks. <laughs> yeah, He's done the intro for them for like six years. He needs to get off. To, yeah, I think no. it's time just to go uh, go be a podcaster. Yeah, go do something fresh. God, go. Here, here's what he needs to do. He needs to go be a podcaster and go interview people who are gonna kind of fix his image. Yeah, go interview likable people. Don't be an ass when like, you interview them. Like Caitlin Clark, go interview her. Yes, because people will watch that. Forty-one points tonight. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. I don't know, but there's, yeah, I think there's he's a done. rebrand, but I'm not sure if he's uh, humble enough to do that. Um, Racy Rice is running for the cops currently. That's the next thing. <laughs> Dallas police, uh, two drivers. Okay, so there's a couple cars racing. Uh, they got in a six car p- pile up, and both cars were abandoned. Um, there's and, video of Racy Rice leaving the scene with a whole group of guys, and it's allegedly that he was driving one of the cars, right? Allegedly, uh, allegedly. We, yeah, we don't know. It was allegedly, but yeah. yeah. Uh, but there's video of him leaving. Uh, there's video of him wearing the same shirt like earlier that day of the guy who's it's definitely him. Oh, um, I don't know if they're I, 
I don't know if they're looking to him to arrest him. I don't think this is a warrant situation. I think this is like a questioning situation. Yeah. I, Either yeah. way, rough look. Rough look. Um, another instance of guys being too bored in the offseason that they need to race their cars, cause a yeah. six-car pileup. I mean, no one got hurt, but God, dude. The Chiefs okay. just found their guy. Okay, but real, real talk, though, if there was guns involved, and this is terrible, it's probably best you don't stick around. Yeah, you pay someone fifty thousand dollars, especially if it wasn't your gun. It's like, bro, I'm not going down for that. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? like, yeah, they could just find me later, and I'll tell them. Yeah, yeah, this is. Was driving. I don't understand the infatuation with always having these NFL players always having guns on them. I get, you know, you feel safe to hire secure. I don't, I don't get it. I know this Maybe. sucks because the Chiefs just found this guy, and then now this is first off season as like a budding star, and now this is what 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 kind of he does. Yeah, hope, I mean, these things do go away. We talked about Jordan Addison last year. Mm -hmm. uh, very similar situation, minus the guns, of course, uh, which is going to be next to impossible to prove. Yeah. we got to prove those guns there. Um, that went away pretty quickly. I imagine this is going to go away, especially right now in the offseason. Yeah. You might forget about this by the draft. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but still, something to keep an eye on. Uh, let's take a quick break, and then we're getting to uh, some more news, and then the divisional rankings. Okay, we're back with uh, some actual football talk. Yep. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff there. Yep. Uh, but we're going to talk a little football here. 49ers and wide receiver Brandon Ayuk. Still not close on contract extension. And it's is, getting late. This is not ending well. Uh, no. I mean, Pelissero also, I think, Pelissero or Garofalo, both, one of them <clears throat> reported that they're not even close. Yeah, this is this is going to end in a trade. Yeah, it has to, right? It reminds me of the A.J. Brown situation where they couldn't get a, get a number. Someone wants to pay him that number, which is almost the whole league wants to play, uh, pay uh, Brandon, Brandon Ayuk. Yeah. He's going to get traded. And if you need an example, no, look no further than than uh, Eric Armstead. Who they, yeah. This literally just happened. They offered him a certain number. Wasn't enough. It was one year, six million. One year, six million. Wasn't enough. He got three year, 51 or something like yep. that. Um, and this just might be the same situation. But what a valuable uh, asset to move in the draft. Yeah, I think if the 49ers <laughs> have someone in the draft or somewhere that, that, that they want, yeah. you can pretty much get them. I think anything besides one, two, and three, you can move up to that spot. Yeah. Right? And there are teams who have been – Wide receiver hunting, and think about the guys who just weren't available that we thought was going to be available this year. Yeah, Mike Evans, Michael Pittman, those yep. guys were supposed to be available. They weren't available. Yep, Brandon Hoop might be out there. Yeah, and you can trade for them, give them a deal that represent that that you that you can afford. So it's a win win. Yeah. Um, but the Niners, this is just a problem with having a star a star set of team. Yeah, you can't afford can't everyone. Yeah, even even with the Purdy, the greatest contract in like the NFL right now, uh, besides CJ Stroud is that Purdy deal because it's nothing. What do you think he's looking for? Top ten contract, top five contract. Well, the top one as far as receivers is thirty million, right? I think Tyreek Hill is thirty one or thirty, mm -hmm. probably within twenty five to thirty. Okay, so that top five, yeah, he'd want to be paid eight. amongst the top. Um, and the Niners apparently can't do it, won't do it. <clears throat> there might be some. Uh, is, there a, is there a dream team that you would news. want him to go to? I like him to the Steelers. I like him to the uh, Steelers could use him. Yeah, I like him to the uh, Bills. And then the obviously. Texans are like everyone's favorite. The Texans would be great, but. I really love Nico and Tank. I want to see what, what happens. But, yeah, <clears throat> Ayuk's just – he could fit. He's one of those guys you just – he's a good enough player where you can name any team. You know, he's going to fit. The Jets were rumored to want to trade back. The Jets would be a great spot for him. They would. They yeah. would. I, I don't – I guess the, they have the draft capital. They have yeah, all, the, yeah the Jets are at 10, and they, and, and they want to move move back, apparently. That was one of the uh, reports. That's a nice spot. Yeah. I mean, what is he worth? i give a first-round pick for him. A 10? Yeah. He – I think – well, that, that's the tenth overall pick. That's because I like him. I like him. I, I think he's a great, fantastic wideout. I Number can't one. I'll give a tenth overall pick. Roma Dunze on a rookie contract for five years or Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk. Because you know what Ayuk is. He's a, he's a he's a, he's a star wideout. Yeah. But you know. uh, we'll see what happens with him and the Niners. Moving on here, the uh, Cowboys. They're all in this year, guys. <laughs> They're all in. They're all in. Uh, possible <laughs> uh, mutual interest on a possible reunion of Zeke Elliott but and the Cowboys. But they're wondering if they. Uh, can afford it. Say it. Uh, can they afford it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess they can afford it because no, they can't afford it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just can't afford it. Um, I mean, they, this is this is getting like it's almost like they're trolling us at this point. Yeah, like, like we're, Jerry, Zeke, are you are you doing a bit? Like, like Zeke, this, he played well last year. I think he's a nice rotational back at this point. You know what that sounds like? That sounds like if I'm trying to spin it. Yeah, the first time <laughs> I talked to a Cowboys fan about signing a Zeke, like he he played well last year. No, he played decent, but yeah, this is pretty not, good. All in, and you get Zeke Elliott. This is not what you. This is not the all in. What are they doing? I don't. I saw a chart today, showed all the new players that each team has acquired. Commanders are at the top with twenty. Dallas is at the bottom with one. One new player. Uh, that was uh, uh Eric Eric Kendrick. Not Eric Kendricks, the no. linebacker. No, he he. Oh uh, yeah, 
Yeah, it is. No, it is. Eric Hendricks. Hendricks. Yeah, yeah, Eric Hendricks. Because he turned his back on the Niners. And yeah. Went, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to Dallas. That's wild how they're just not making any. A team that was in. <clears throat> what, when did they play Packers? What round? Second round. Second round. They're in a weird spot where they have a lot of contracts coming up, and they don't. They're not going to pay anyone. They're not going to act fast. So they're just kind of like, we'll let it play out. And then next year, this seems to look a lot different. Terrell, are they are they try, are they getting ready for a rebuild? Is this what is that what we're seeing here? They don't want it to commit to anyone past two years. Yeah, I, I I think they're going. I mean, Jerry Jones is eighty one years old, so <laughs> he's definitely not going to. I mean, he's not sitting back and trying to rebuild. He can't Mo- rebuild. Most courageous <laughs> rebuild ever. But you know, I think they're going for it. Uh, Zeke Elliott, though, I mean, he's the you know one of the most recent guys in the last few years who have played one season with another team may return back to the other team. Yeah. Are we looking at a Bobby Wagner type of year or a Cam Newton type of year returning back to Carolina? <sighs> he, Unfortunately, it's gonna, it's going to look more like Cam Newton than Bobby Wagner. Bobby Wagner had his high, a career higher in tackles last year. Yeah, like <laughs> it's not going. Uh, I don't have the numbers in front of me, but he's a Hall of Famer, right? Zeke, he feels like a Hall of Famer. He was incredible. He was good he, for a long time. He came out the out the gates <sighs> just killing. Okay, so he's like, a Hall. I remember his first game it was against the Seahawks. Oh my god, yep, I remember the game. It was a preseason game. Him I remember and Cam Chancellor. I remember seeing him run the ball and just seeing him just bounce off of grown men and thinking this is a real problem. This is a yeah. Like this because, is a real because issue. At the time they had the offensive line <laughs> and uh DeMarco Murray had just left and yeah. then Zeke Elliott. And that was Dak's rookie year, right? Yep. So yep. Yeah. him and Dak are like let's do this thing. Yeah. And they're still I mean they're best friends apparently and then this would be Jeez. Zeke Elliott, 8,900 career yards and 71 touchdowns. Yeah, he's a Hall of Famer. Wow. He's a Hall of Famer, yeah. right? Yeah. He's a Cowboy. I'm not even a Cowboy fan, he but. You also get the Cowboy bump. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he, yeah he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, moving on here, the Chiefs. Oh, God. My boy. <laughs> making a comeback. Carson Wentz <laughs> signing with the Chiefs to be their backup. He, he played for the Rams last year. Yep. Now he's going to play for the Chiefs. The, he's going he's gonna to study with Big Andy, uh, Charles Nagy. I think he's making a real comeback here. I'm I'm glad what he got the, the hell is even that? I'm glad he got the opportunity. Yeah. And this is if you're gonna go for a team, go No one wants him as a starter anymore. You're at the top of the like no one even wants him as a bridge guy anymore. Yeah. We have Jacoby Brissett, like as an actual bridge guy here yeah. this year. Uh I mean who else is there? There's uh I mean Baker Mayfield. They, they were kind of similar a year ago, mm-hmm. like as far as like where they're headed. And uh now this guy's just is he just a backup? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm curious to see if they sign another quarterback. Can, can someone, sorry guys, can someone look up his number? He started a game for the Rams last year. Yeah. Uh, can someone look up his numbers and how he did? I he did like he play did a game okay. last year. Yeah, yeah he, he started. Did. I, I missed he it. started one game last year, 17 for 24, oh. two touchdowns, one interception for uh, 100, Not bad. 162 yards, 163 yards. Didn't he run the ball well too? Sorry, I know, I know, I'm, sorry, I'm asking for a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I mean that those are 17 24, yeah. two touchdowns, one interception. And and, and Andy Reid's pretty good at making I mean he made Chad Chad Henney decent for like I think uh, like what was the the, the uh, Jaguars game? Remember uh, two years ago he came in hurt? Yeah. yeah, I think Andy Reid can make anyone kind of better than, you know, what he what he actually 14 is. 14 rushing yards that game. 14? 14. Oh, 14 big ones. He killed it. It's <laughs> that, that's called a uh, dual threat. Does he ever get a chance to start again? No. 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 Never? No. He's gotten the murdy. Damn. I think uh, as a backup, he's he'd be pretty good. Yeah, I, and, there, I, I, and there's I, I, zero I, I, pressure I, I, in Kansas City. Like you're, no one expects anything out of you. You're just the backup. Yeah, to carry the water bottle and avoid camera shots. I feel like you feel pretty good if if it's a, it's a combo of Andy and Carson Wentz late in the year. We need to win one game. I feel like you feel okay. Yeah, yeah. like you feel better than Chad Henney, right? Yeah, I don't know who the backup was last year. Chad um, Henney wasn't his last year. He retired. Yeah, he got a couple commercials out mm-hmm. of it. I mean that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think talent wise, he probably still has the uh, little little bit of juice left. Are we the only show still talking about Carson? Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It's, it's, pretty it's, much. It's, and it's because of you. Hey, you know what? You're big, a big Carson guy. You said the big chair. You got to meet him at some point. You're the only guy I know. I'd love to meet him. Yeah, let's Carson. Meet him. Uh, speaking of the world champs, the Eagles <laughs> are sending edge rusher Hassan Reddick to the Jets for a conditional third round pick. That could be a second if he plays, what is it, 67.5. Uh, percent of the time at least and has and has 10 or more sacks those are kind of steep terms to be honest uh so, the pick is also for uh it's three drafts away not the 2024 draft not 2025 the 2026 draft they might get a second round pick it's crazy um this i mean let's start here he's a good value for the jets yeah right it's not good for the other eagles it's it's, it's surprising that because like usually away pick almost at this point yeah i mean second third it's it's a that's not what's crazy that you usually roseman or uh Hi, Roseman cleans up on these deals. I feel like this is the first time that he kind of like 
been had a little bit. It leads me to believe that the rumors of locker room stuff might carry some weight. Yeah. Because it just nothing makes sense. And they kind of chose. Just wanted to unload it. Yeah. I yeah. like that it, there's not a lot of drama surrounding this right now. It, it just kind of happened. It just happened. Yep. I, I know the year prior to last year, he had a good year. I'm, I don't think I've I I think I don't think he had a great year last year, right? Uh, he, I'm not sure about last year, but as far as the last, like, I think I'd have a stat up there, AJ, if you could throw it up. Over the last, what, five years? Is that the stat? Yeah, the last five years, he's, uh, I mean, right up there with the, some of the best pass rushers in the league. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about Jets real quick. The Jets adding this guy. I mean, let's look at the front. Quinnen Williams, Hassan Reddick, Jermaine Johnson, who's really coming to his own. Yep. Uh, Frank, uh, John Franklin Myers, Javon Kinlaw comes over from the uh, 49ers, and Will McDonald, the first-round pick from last year. They kind of redshirted McDonald because they didn't need him last year. They were so deep, yeah. and they were, this they gives basically them... basically replaced um, um, Bryce Huff with Hassan Reddick, who, like, Hassan Reddick is basically best-case scenario of Bryce Huff. Yeah. Uh, so it's, I mean, they come out looking incredible. Yeah, the Jets... Um, Get this D line, get Aaron Rodgers back. It might another positive. Yeah, this is phenomenal for Robert Sala. Yeah, now you have a plethora of inside and and outside pass rushers. This is great. Uh, I'll speak to the Eagles side of it. They now are going to rely on a group that, beside BG uh, Brian, Brandon Graham, who's yeah. in his final year, yeah, and and Josh Sweat, very unproven behind that. Yeah, you have you have uh, uh, Bryce Huff who mm-hmm. did it, but in a rotational role le- last year. Um, and you have the rookie from last year, Nolan Smith, uh, first rounder, but didn't really do much in, the, in his first year. And then you have the, um, the interior guys, and you have the interior guys minus Fletcher Cox. Yeah. Uh, so, kind of a change in the guard on the Eagles' defensive line that has really carried them through the last little run here as of the Eagles. Yeah, that was the Eagles' mo is that even, like even if they didn't have a good secondary or good you know linebackers, whatever, you knew that they had. <laughs> you knew that, that was pretty funny. <laughs> it hit my eyelash. Like, it, for the people listening, I just had a fly, just kamikaze right into my yeah. eyelash. No, Sorry, go ahead. What was your point? No, no. I was saying, like, <laughs> you knew that the Eagles always had a good O-line, D-line. And this just kind of makes them, makes me like, man, they, because they spent a lot of money on a running back this year. And they never used to do that. They yeah. spent a lot of money. Or they, they prioritized Devin White, which is not what they usually do. Yeah. So they're kind of, they're kind of you know, adapting to their new, you know, to their weaknesses here. I think they're turning the page, which eventually you have to. I like that we're not holding on to anyone longer than we should. Yeah. Uh, but it doesn't mean that the it doesn't mean that the moves you make you're making to for the next page are the right moves. Only time will tell type yeah, thing. Yeah. I mean, I like the players they have there. I like the potential they have. But you know, even as an Eagles fan, it's just potential until it happens. But Jets looking real good. Yeah, Jets now have a a D line. You don't need a draft a D lineman at all. Yeah. You don't need don't like in the draft here. They okay. can really kind of pick kind of best available. Almost. Let's uh, let's use this to segue now. We're gonna go into uh, ranking the teams of each division. Uh, we're not, we're kind of good. We're going to go kind of quick. Yeah. If we need to stop and talk about something, we will. Yeah. Uh, but let's start right there in the AFC East. Okay. okay. Very competitive division. We're talking about the Jets. We're talking about the Bills. Patriots, who knows? Is Jacoby Brissett their quarterback? Is Drake May their quarterback? Who, who the hell knows? No. Nope. And then, of course, the Bills. They're kind of a new iteration of the Bills. That's yeah. it. Dolphins, sorry. Yeah. Uh, what are the Dolphins now? They've, they've missed well, a lot too. of people. Bills, too. Bills, too, kind of have a new iteration. They got rid of the, you know, their two, uh, bookend safeties. Yeah. Uh, Tredavis White is gone, so it, it's it's kind of new for both these teams here. Um, still, I think Bills number one yeah. in this division, no problem. Any Bills. any any uh con- any contest there, Bills number one here. I, I think that's pretty clear. Yeah, Bills are the uh have the best have the best quarterback, and therefore have the best team in this. I division. think two is where we might we might disagree. How We'd, far back is Miami? I think that'd be my question for you. Though. I do not believe in Miami. I, I didn't it, care about this year. Yeah, I think Miami's three. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Same for me. My yeah. I think Jets are two here. Yep. A healthy Jets team, I think, is number two, especially what they've done the O-line. Um, that seemed to be, like, one of their biggest, like, Achilles heels last year. Yeah. 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 I, I could see why not. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, both teams, I don't believe. But I b- would, would believe in the Jets and Aaron Rodgers more than yeah. Tua and the, uh, and, that, and the Dolphins. We talk a lot about who the Dolphins have lost this year, but if you really look at it, they've added some quality veterans on yeah. some cheap contracts. Oh, yeah. Like Jordan Poyer and those guys, like, They've done, I think, well, but I'm just. I think it's just a ride. I'm. I'm sick of already. I like, think I already just, know what what happens because it's because you just don't buy Tua. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, like you buy Josh Allen, that's why they're number one out the gate, and you only buy Tua, so that's why he's. Does everyone have Bills, Jets, uh, Dolphins, Patriots? Yeah. Anyone want to contest that? Yep. Okay, let's move up there to uh, let's uh, let's save the AFC yeah, North. Yeah. That's a pretty fun one. Let's go to the AFC South. Very interesting division. Uh, I remember a year ago talking about the AFC South. The rookies coming in. 
and kind of how it would, how it would, um, it's pretty easy. How it would flesh out what we thought Trevor Lawrence was going to be last mm-hmm. year, mm-hmm. as opposed to what he actually turned out to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, big dog in this division. Is it already CJ Stroud's division? It's the, it's that it's that kid, dude. CJ Stroud. He's the best quarterback, and he's on the best team in this in this division. Were they? Did they win the division this year, or was it a wild card? They were win a wild card. They won the yeah. Division. yeah. Um, I think they won a wild card, right? Yeah, I don't think yeah, they won a division this year. I think yeah, yeah, I think the, yeah, wild card. I think the Jaguars wild card. pulled it out. So. No, they yeah. won the division. They won the. They, they hosted a playoff. Yeah, game. they hosted the game against. You're right. The right. You're right. It You're was right. between Jacksonville Damn. and uh, Houston for the last. So game. they got it a year early. Mm-hmm. Jaguars, man, what happened? Okay, so we have anyone else want to contest that Texans number one overall? Good, right there. Yep. I'm going Jacksonville. I'm throwing Ooh. it. I'm throwing it out there. It came down to the last game. Jacksonville was at eight and five, you know, towards the end of the season. So they had it and they blew it towards the end of the season. So a loss there against the Bengals on a Monday night game at the end of the season. So I'm going with Trevor Lawrence back bounce back year. I'm, I'm liking the Jack. I'm liking the Jacks to win this division. So I think, uh, I think uh, the Texans drop a little bit there. They had 11 games decided by a touchdown or less last year and they went eight and three. That's so, not a popular opinion that the Texans take a step back. Everyone's thinking yeah. like, Super Bowl, baby. I'm thinking. I'm thinking they have like a year like the Vikings did. Vikings had a lot of close wins, made yeah. the playoffs. So I think they're it balances back out. I'm going with Jacksonville on that God. one. Do you think they're closer to the Texans or the Jaguars? As far as the 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 the, the, the uh, Texans. Sorry, I said that word. The Titans. That's the Titans, right? The Colts. God damn. Colts. Yeah. The Colts. <laughs> the Colts or the Jags. Getting late. The Colts or the Jags. Do you, like who? Who do you think they're closer to? The Colts, or who do I think the Texans are closer uh-huh. to? Oh, the Texans are closer to Jacksonville. I mean, I think it's okay. going to be a neck and neck. So it's one and two up top. Well, yeah, those are the two teams. I'm going with Jacksonville over there. Again, this is a different conversation if Jacksonville doesn't choke against the Titans at the end of the season. But Right. I think, I think the, the uh, Texans swept them last year. I, I wouldn't be surprised if the Colts have a better record at the end of the year than Jacksonville. I love what the Colts do. I love the Colts. I mean, it's all up to Anthony Richardson. Yeah. Yep. That's but they did it last year with Gardner Minshew. I think Rich is more talented. At least you know that. I, I, I'm kind of out on Trevor Lawrence and the this version of the of the Jacksonville Jaguars. And Gabe Davis isn't really doing anything for me. And I want to see what they do in the draft. Uh, but yeah, I, I would have like a two A and a two B is Jacksonville and Indy. Jacksonville, I think, is one of those teams where it's, I wouldn't be surprised if they're like underrated now, mm. because they didn't meet the lofty expectations. And I think people might overreact to like, yeah. oh, they suck. When actually, no, they're still pretty good. They're just not. Just found they're it. not that Bengals yep. tier yet, mm-hmm. which we kind of thought they might be last yeah. year. And then you have Tennessee, um, which is at least they're trying. They're trying something. Listen, I, Tennessee and Indy to me is not that different. Really? I, I guys got to see Anthony Richardson do it. I guys seem to stay healthy. Gotcha. You know, and, I, and Will Levis, they give him every opportunity to succeed. If he's at least know. average, that team's going to be better than people think. AFC West, uh, Chiefs number one. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. That one's, uh, it's good to mark yeah. that off. Uh, but who the hell is number two? <laughs> like I don't know. Uh, is it uh, is it the Raiders? The new look Chargers? It's the Chargers. You is it the Chargers with no with with Josh Palmer? They have a quarterback. Yeah, the Raiders don't. The Broncos don't. Broncos Raiders don't. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good. So do you want an inferior quarterback with way better weapons or a great quarterback with no weapons? You know what I'm saying? Great, it's, great, it's like a very with no right weapons. Yeah, <sighs> man. But I he, feel like if he, the Chargers, could, he could elevate some guys around him. Since I when? when? Uh, I don't know. The Chargers have. I'm had just saying, that. with the, with like a new coaching staff and everything, he could probably he could probably do it. I will put my money on that. Over Devonte taking the Raiders to ten plus wins. I think it's a career low stats for him. Not so much because he takes a step back himself, but because the offense they're bringing in that Greg Roman offense. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Um, my heart's telling me one thing. But your I body. I, I think they're kind of all in the same realm. The Chargers, Broncos, and Raiders are all kind of like. They could be 500 or they could be five five wins. I don't really believe Antonio Pierce. I think Harbaugh and Sean Payton are the same tier of head coach. So they can make a, a bad team better. Last year is perfect, perfect, a perfect indication Sean Payton is at least a good coach. He made that team passable. I think the and Raiders I, here are clear number two. Really? I think they're Ooh. clear number two. Um, I think and not I think that team is gonna they're gonna ride that buy-in with Antonio Pierce just a little longer. I love what they did in the was Christian Wilkins, and they could grab another pass rusher here in the draft. I have to see what they do at quarterback. That's before I do that. But so, so is Denver, yeah. so that's true. Um, I have them there. Then I have – God, I take the Chargers over the Broncos, I think. It's tough because the Chargers 
And Broncos are like in the same space, but the big difference is that the Chargers actually have their quarterback. Right. And Broncos don't have anybody. Yeah. So I could see why you would take that. I just don't agree with it, but I would see how you would take that. How do you guys have it? I got Chargers at two. Just because they, they they have that quarterback spot lo- on lo- locked down. And Raiders at three then? I have tra- yep. I, I have the yeah, the Raiders at three and I would put the Broncos, yeah. I hate you guys. Where you at, Terrell? <laughs> I mean, I have I have the Chargers and the Broncos kind of battling it out for that, for that wow. third place team. Uh, they're huh? both the kind. <laughs> they're boy, both Terrell. the same. I mean, look, they're both in the same. The Broncos, <sighs> the Broncos have massive holes on the defensive side of the side of the ball. The Chargers have massive holes on the offensive side of the ball. They're yeah. kind of the same thing. Uh, Listen up. The, the Raiders. The Raiders are just a quarterback away. The, that's what the Broncos have been trying to have been sold on our quarterback away. Yeah. So I don't know. I think I think the Raiders. They could, like you said, ride that momentum. They could be that maybe Legion of Boom of, of Vegas. Mm. Who knows with that that defense? I don't know. They're going to come up with a different name because it's going to be on the defensive line. But definitely Chiefs run away with this division, and I think the rest of the three kind of battle it out for who can finish at maybe 9 and 8, 10 and 7. I think this is the most jumbled second half of a division in the whole NFL. We don't really know what these teams are. What are the chances are the Chiefs are good and just the rest of these three teams just aren't very good this year? Pretty high. Pretty like high. they're just not. We're high. we're well, kind what? of like we're kind of like the main reason struggling why. a lot because really these teams aren't that good. Yeah, and also the AFC is so strong, so you're gonna have someone yeah. who just has to be the you know the bottom guy. It might be one. Of the, might be two of these teams. Yeah, I I think I'm actually kind of there now. <laughs> like I think it might be the Chiefs are good and just these three teams are amongst the worst in the AFC. Yeah. Yeah, Damn. I mean I think three teams are probably coming out of the North. And, exactly. You know, these are dark so, times. Let's get to the North now. Um, Woo. Okay. at least three teams. Can you put four in? <laughs> like, like, hey, should we start four. petitioning you, to get four in? You sure, you can't you you know, get you four. Can, There's three wild card spots. Yep. Tell you what, you can get four. I, I, I hope someone's, someone, yeah, uh, someone's with four. me. You can get four. A healthy Joe Burrow, they're the best team in this, uh, in this, uh, whole division. Absolutely. Healthy in Joe division, Burrow, I'll, yeah. I'll take him over the Ravens. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bur- Burrow and the Chief, uh, Burrow, Burrow and the uh, Bengals, number one. Um, Ravens fans are are turning us off right now because we like we just finished first. Yeah, with a Joe but Burrow. Burrow has I playoff success. Burrow. I forgot about Joe Burrow. Yeah, Burrow's. I'm not freaking. I can be like I the mean, best quarterback in the league. Oh, sure, oh, sure, you can go here. I mean, I it's it's. I still, guess well, let's talk. Let's talk one two. Uh, oh, the one two. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess the Joe Burrow is still a big if based on his career. I mean, he's been had two big injuries already. Oh, this, come on, this Joe. Career. So he that that is a big if to, yeah. for him to be we healthy. We need to start talking about that. So this man might be injury prone. He's got two years where he's been out. So I don't know. That's a, that's a big if. But but, when th- he, but he did play. Sorry. He balled out. So I'm I'm still going with Baltimore number one, and then two. I, I got to go with uh, Cincinnati. I think I have Baltimore number one. I'm a little concerned about um, DC leaving with that how how dumb that defense was. How much they relied on it. With the defense coordinator leaving, we'll see how that pans out. But they retained a lot of their talent. Matabuke, um, you have Kyle, Kyle Hamilton coming on. Just yeah. just th- like one of the best safeties already in the league. Let's see what he does next year. Uh, they lost to Patrick Queen, but they already had a guy in the wings waiting. I mean, I think they're, I think they're still sufficiently stacked on defense. Yeah. Offense, they haven't really done much except Derrick Henry. Yeah. Um, I, I have number one still in the, here. And I had Bengals number two. Uh, and I think the Bengals and, and Browns are close. The Browns are just one of the best rosters in the league. Like, just top to bottom. Like, if we're ranked just whole rosters on paper, I mean, they're just incredible. Look at their roster and just at every level stars. Yeah, and last year they proved they could play with quarterback. They they, they could win games with just by anyone yeah. at quarterback. Yeah, if they, Watson is just even average, God. this team is fighting for like a like a top four spot in the whole uh, in the whole AFC. But because of that, and because of Watson, I don't have him up. Now, now the Steelers, I feel like we have two versions of that. And they're obviously a quarterback. Yeah. The Russell Wilson Steelers, I think we all have dead last. Yeah. Right? Are we all there? 100%. Mm, yeah. In that Better, but dead last than last We're, year. The Justin Fields Steelers. I'll take them now, over. That is a sexier. I'll take them over Browns. I might. A Fields Steelers team is, over, is better than the Watson Browns team. Oof. Because I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, hitting, that I'm not def- hitting on it. That defense is very strong. Yeah. And last year they had shit at quarterback. Yeah. Fields will at least give them some magic to give them some energy. I don't even care if they lost Deontay Johnson. They're, 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 they're just going to draft in a deep wideout class another first round wideout. He'll be just fine. He probably will. And yeah, I, 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 if it's Fields from week one, I'll take their, my number three team. If it's Russell, they're number five. Fields or Browns, guys? 
Field. Steelers or Browns? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. The Pittsburgh Fields. Um, I'm gonna take the Browns. Elite defense field. We don't know if Fields is gonna work yet. Uh, I'm. I'll, I'll trust the defense first. Mm. Even, I feel like we're talking about the Browns there. Like elite defense. I don't know if Deshaun Watson's gonna work yet. Yeah. <laughs> no. 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 The same I'm, no, no. Thing. I'm saying like Fields. I'm not sure. We still don't know if Fields is is, is if he's go- going to work with the Steelers yet. That's a good is question. That, That's that a good question. Then. Fair to say? Who are you more confident about right, going into this year, Justin Fields or Deshaun Watson? Ooh. If it Fields. was your team, who would you want to go right down the middle? I think I just I'm not even Fields. sure. I'll, I'll flip a coin. Fields. You know what's crazy? One of them's making about four million. <laughs> the other one signed the biggest guaranteed Bazillion contract in dollars. NFL history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, AJ. Who are you going to pick? Well, I was just going to say, even before we talked about Russell Wilson or or uh, Justin Fields, I had the Steelers and the Browns kind of fighting for that third spot. Um, I think I'm I think I'm leaning towards the Steelers over the Browns. This, I mean, it's going to be one. It's 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 going to be such a fun division to watch. A, I, AFC North football already is like incredible, but these teams. Hopefully, Justin Fields gets in there. You have four good quarterbacks in this in this division. Mm-hmm. Four great defenses in this division. It's it's gonna be so much fun, yeah. especially around that winter time. It's cold. Yeah. Oh, you also, start to see the breath. I know they they signed Russell Wilson, but it's not a big big money they put towards Russell Wilson. One point two million. I think if he has a bad game or two, they're gonna be quick. Like, nope, we have this Fields. He's been waiting here. He has a short leash. They've yeah. brought in two quarterbacks since Justin Fields. Yep. Wow. They brought another Jeez. one today, Kyle Allen. They want a lot of competition in that room. I mean, or they're saying like, if you're bad, we'll just, we'll just it, cut yep. you. It We're wouldn't not take much to cut Russell Wilson. Yep. Yeah. This segment is brought to you by Dad Gang Hats. Dad Gang makes the highest quality hats in the apparel industry because they use premium materials, pay close attention to detail, and prioritize durability and comfort. With so many styles, colors, and designs, they absolutely have the right hat for you and the dad in your life. Use code Bench seven six eight two six. That's B E N C H D seven six eight two six. For fifteen percent off your first purchase, shop Dad Gang Hats. Quality hats for quality dads. Okay, let's jump over to the NFC now. Let's start right up top there with uh, the NFC North. Ask one man. I mean, Kirk Cousins no longer there. Yeah, Jordan Love coming into his own. Jordan Love reminds me of Jon Snow when he really starts, when he really starts ramping up, and you start yeah. to see like, oh, yeah, you are so much more than the bastard of Winterfell. Yeah, he's so much more than just Aaron Rodgers' backup. Now it's like, oh. <laughs> This is your team now, he Jordan just Love. Called Jordan Love the bastard. I don't know. It's funny. To me. And then he does nothing at the end. Oh, oh sheesh! I'm hey, a Jordan Love I mean, guy. We're talking about Jon Snow. That's I'm a Jordan true. Love guy. I'm a Jordan is Love guy. Is Caleb Williams his uh, Daenerys? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Not not in the sexual way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we go with this man. I tried to say with it, it just it <laughs> didn't work, and Find I tried to. On a boat. He likes to eat square people. peg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> no, this is a this is an interesting an interesting division because now the Lions are like the the class in this whole thing. I think they're number one easily for me. Ooh, um, I I love the Lions. They went toe toe with San Fran, and they almost beat them. Um, I oh man, this is tough. I'll go with the Packers at number one still. I like Jordan Love. I think Jordan Love is going to be the best quarterback in this league this year. The league Sorry, in this in this division this year. Yeah. Um, and with with an arrow up, you know mm. what I'm saying? Like, I think he's going to be the best, and he could be the best by a lot. We'll see. Mm. Um, I love what they've done in the offseason, minus at running back, and I wouldn't think that was a big deal, except last year Aaron Jones literally won them games. Yeah. And I'm thinking specifically of the playoff game, and I just, I'll hold to the fact that Josh Jacobs is a step back from Aaron Jones. I'll just, I just believe that with all my heart, and I think, uh, I think that's going to cost them. But oh. that might be offset with as these receivers come up, because they're all young. Yeah. yeah, so there was some games where Aaron Jones was like just give him the ball, yeah. give him the ball, and he's and he'll just do it. Yeah, but to be fair, he also missed some time. Yeah, and they won those games too. So I mean, we'll see. Yeah, uh, everyone, everyone else have the Packers at number one, or I feel like there's some questions. I, I have the Lions at number one, right? Because I just believe in that roster, Terrell. Yeah, I'm going Lions number one. I think a bounce back season. I think Dan Campbell have these guys turning around. I'm going. <laughs> I got Packers at number two in okay. that division, and I got three teams coming out of it. I got the Bears being that third team. Really? So Caleb Williams uh, hits yeah. the ground running, huh? Yeah, I think he's better than Justin Fields, and they were 7-10 and 10 with Justin Fields. And it's so. a great roster. He's Good like, roster. He's coming he's coming. It really is. They've done a great job. Set. Everything they didn't do for Fields, at least they learned their lesson. <laughs> yeah, like you know, At least yeah. they're not doing it again. Yeah. Uh, guys, let's talk one-two over there at the table. Um, originally, I probably would have said Detroit, number one. Mm-hmm. But I think the trajectory that the Packers were on towards yep. the end of the season just shoots them slightly past Detroit. I'm going to take the Packers. I don't know if you knew uh, Youngest Team in the League. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And, 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 and we got I don't know if you guys heard that before. I'll yeah. also love Xavier McKinney. 
I just that's like one of my favorite moves of the offseason. I like yeah. that better than like the Josh Jacobs signing. Yeah, absolutely. I think, I think it's everything that we that they thought that um, Savage was. That's exactly what uh, exactly what uh, Sam Kinney is. Just Kinney. he's very very good. Shout out to the shout out to the Giants for just letting him go for nothing. Yeah, thank you Giants. <laughs> I love you. Guys. They they drafted him. He became a captain. Developed him. <laughs> Developed him. Became a captain and one of the best players on the defense. And they said, Peace. Nah. <laughs> Go to that young up team over there. You and Saquon. Just go on and leave. <laughs> it's not really our vision. Uh, you, know, you, don't, you don't fit our plan. Uh, Gabe, who's number one in this division? I got the Packers at number one. Really? I didn't think you were going to say that. <laughs> That's so... <laughs> I got the Packers at number one. Shocker. I really feel like Detroit is like... Here we go. They're at the uh, mountaintop right now. And it's, and, it's, and it's very good. They made it to the conference game. They almost beat the Niners, but so, but, but so did the Packers. So you're saying like it's all downhill from here? I'm not saying it's all down here. I'm saying they're up top right now, but I say the like the Packers, they're they're gonna go past them. Oh, I th- it's gonna be interesting because those two teams are very well built. They're very well well coached. I, they they could be past them now. The last time these two teams played, the Packers kind of kicked their butts in 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 Detroit. That was think, uh, Thanksgiving Day. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It, uh, these are just two those gonna great. Those gonna be great games. It's I gonna feel be really like, fun. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. They're 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 really not alike at all. In my eyes. They're not, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, the Detroit is really building a tough, smash-mouth type, you know, their coach. They're kind of taking on yeah, that yeah. that uh, personality. Packers are kind of turning into a little bit of a, let's throw the ball. Finesse, let's, spread. Let's finesse, yeah. yeah. I mean, Josh Jacobs might help with the physicality. Uh, but the defense is more of a, I don't know if they're, like, a very, like, fit, like known for being physical, known for, like, you know, like almost like the Niners defense is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think they're a good defense, but I don't think that's their reputation. I think offensively... The LaFour Jordan Love combo. That's kind of what makes his team go. Is that, it's know, all yeah. on that. It's yeah. all on that combo. Yeah. Okay. So then um, we all seem to have Packers lines up on the top. Yeah. Uh, Vikings. Vikings are last because they don't have a quarterback. Not that quarterback. quarterback. If they go get JJ McCarthy. No, they're still last. If they go get uh, Jaden Daniels. I don't know. Is there a veteran out there that you trust them to go get? Well, oh, Carson Wentz would have been great. <laughs> you need to stop that already. <laughs> I mean, they have Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold's their veteran. This if, oh, yeah, yeah, Sam Darnold. <laughs> the, awesome. veteran. the Vikings are going to have to give up some capital if they're going to get yeah. Jane Daniels or J.J. McCarthy. You could is it is it giving up Justin Jefferson? They have two firsts. You got two firsts. So. See, I would have liked Russell Wilson to go there instead of Sam, Sam Darnold. That way you don't have to. Be so all in on the quarterback. You could listen, well, we'll try Russell for a year. I mean, if Russell wasn't gets cut, yeah, it, uh, it's still like we're just talking about them. There's still you have a Sam Donald for two years in Minnesota. Um, okay, so we'll have the Bears at three. Prison sentence. Do we have the Bears at three? Yeah, I have okay. The Bears at three. But I think the Bears, if if Caleb Williams gives us a CJ Stroud year last year, a Justin the, Herbert year, they're they, the best team in the division. Like, I'll say that. Sure. If, they, if he gives us a CJ Stroud year, they're the best team in the division because well, that sh- defense is. The best defense in the in division right now? The defense is phenomenal. Right? Yeah. So if he gets a CJ Stroud year with the weapons, Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, all the running backs they have, like yeah. a very a pretty good de- offensive line. Yeah. Yeah. If he if he is CJ Stroud, yeah. If he's what's a kind of a middling? If he's Will Levis, yeah. Where are they? Right right where they are this Three? year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh let's move on here to the NFC East. Um, who like who's behind the Eagles for you guys in, <laughs> in this division? So Eagles are the assumed number one. <laughs> No, uh, no, I would, I would take Philly first, though. I think so. Obviously, we don't love what the Cowboys have done in the offseason. But right? I still think that they're going to be the, the good and record. They'll be just, they'll be okay. Uh, anyone else want to argue with Eagles, Cowboys? No, I mean those are those are the two top teams. I think the Cowboys take a little slight step back, yeah, and and fall to ten and seven. But um, that's still a good record, and that's, yeah. and that's still a good team. Giants and Commanders, I'm, I'm guessing it's just a fight for the worst. I'm not picking up anything yeah. with Daniel Jones. Please don't cancel us because that's a Redskin uh, <laughs> logo up there. I haven't seen that My in bad, ages. Bad. We're, uh, we're, um, we're nostalgic around here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that's a pretty easy vision to kind of. Kind yeah, of I think uh, I would take Washington's roster over the Giants roster. You know, with the addition of uh, Brian Burns, I think Daniel Jones is just pretty, pretty bad. Uh, commanders most likely go into the season with either Drake May or Jane Daniels. So yeah, so I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. We're looking at a, once again another year where a different team yeah. could win the division. Was it twenty years straight? Nineteen? Something like. that. I think that, we're going yeah. for twenty this yeah. year. Uh, NFC South. Um, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I want this division to be good so badly. Well, there's two clear. I want the Falcons to be good. Yeah, I want. I, 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 I want them to be like a top team in there, not just in the division. Falcons-Bucks games are going to be games that we see on the schedule and look past, and we shouldn't. 
They're going to be great games. I think they're going to be yeah. fun, yeah. They're going to be really good games. Falcons with Kirk Cousins, a healthy Kirk Cousins, mm-hmm. could run away with this division. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Am, am, is, that, is that exaggerating? Well, Tampa will be... I think, ta- <laughs> I think Tampa is like the most adult team in this in this like they're like they should be there they should have a yeah. 500 or above record I, at this point i'm taking tampa over i am too over uh the falcons i need to say i need to see healthy kirk cousins like and i need to yeah, see we've seen a healthy tampa and they're like they won a playoff game even though it was the eagles you know whatever they're still a solid team i'll take yeah. tampa still um anyone have falcons over tampa uh, i'll go ahead Drew. i like i like the falcons over tampa i like their weapons on offense um I mean, Tampa, I think, just won the division because the rest of them are just awful. <laughs> so I mean, they were they were nine and eight. They weren't special, like you said, beat a beat a reeling Eagles team last year. So I like I like Atlanta to come out and win that division. Over the table, I'm gonna count on a healthy Kirk Cousins. I'm going with Atlanta. I'm I'm rolling with that too, actually. Okay. Uh, oh God. I mean. Panthers are last. So Derek Carr. And the only him. reason the the Saints aren't last is because the Panthers are the, <laughs> the Panthers are last. <laughs> I mean, I, I I don't know what this, the problem with this is that the Saints are like still it, like in their in their meeting rooms. It's like how do we make this Super Bowl run even stronger? How, yeah, we said just we already just, have Derek Carr. Just just, say, <laughs> just takes two or three or three moves and we're right there. Who's that cherry on top? What was that story last year? They were they, were, they couldn't believe they had Derek Carr in the room. They yeah. celebrated. They were, they were talking like the Jets were about yeah. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, they they treated Derek Carr like dude. Yeah, I I, I would think championships. I would, I'm taking. The Saints here. I think the Saints have. Yes, I think everyone is yeah. right. Yeah. We're all good in that. Number three. Yeah. 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 yeah number three. three. Carolina's just. I would love to see Bryce Young consistently outplay Derek Carr. That would be. It's probably going to happen. But everything the, Derek but Carr. The Saints needs. team, I think, has still is enough. Has still has Demar Davis, yeah. Honey Badger, Cam and Jordan. They're still solid. Oh, uh, last one here. NFC West. Very interesting division. I mean, I think there's some sleepers in this one, uh, namely the Rams. Mm-hmm. I love the Rams. Love. I love what they've done in the offseason. If you look at what they've done, sneaky great moves. The era of f them picks. Kind of over. They yep. kind of all their picks back now. Um, I'm an, I'm the same way, but for Seattle. Ooh, I love it. I love. I love. I love the. Do you all have the Niners at top of the division easily? Yeah, really? yeah. yeah. They're still the class, even though they might lose Ayuk and they just lost uh, Arm. Said they're still the most talented roster. Yeah. Um, this is. Let's do this quick. This will be a huge conversation, but I want it to be quick. Okay. Best quarterback in the division. <laughs> oh, Stafford. Well, Stafford. What Stafford was able to do. In Detroit last year, in the playoffs, just won me back. Because I've never seen Purdy do anything like that. Mm. I'll take Stafford. Even at this age. Does anyone? It's basically Purdy or Stafford. Anyone yeah. have Purdy over? No? Yeah, I got no. Stafford. Yeah, Stafford's okay. the best in the division. Uh, okay, who's the best team? Niners? Niners? Second best. Who do you have? Seahawks or Rams? That's a great. Rams. Great. Seattle. Seattle. I love Seattle. Uh, what separates you, uh, the Rams, from Seattle? I think the roster's better, and I... Um, I think last year, for whatever reason, there was the talent on the roster, but Pete mm-hmm. Carroll and them couldn't get it going. I think with the right guy, the right head coach now, I think it'll be you'll finally see that talent be used in the and you know in the right way. I'm going Rams, and maybe I'm too high in the Rams, but I'm going Rams easily. I think Rams might be the best of it in the whole division. I think at quarterback, they're just so much better than the Seahawks with a combination of Geno Smith and Sam Howell. Like give me Safford all day, every day. Yeah. As far as weapons. They're right there with with the uh, Seahawks, who have great weapons. Mm-hmm. But they have Puka Nakua, who broke every record imaginable last year. Uh, they have a healthy Cooper Cup now, a full off season. Um, I like even the receivers behind that. I like uh, Kyron Williams is one of the most underrated. It's almost like he has the same career path as Austin Eckler, yeah. like just an underrated guy. No one wants to believe in. Not incredibly like athletic looking or yeah. sexy game. He just gets it done. Yeah. And I love him back there. I love what they've done in the defense. They're they're young. They're hungry. They want to win one for Stafford. I, I like the the Rams are easily at number two. Yeah, I feel the same way. Like Rams obviously showed a lot last year how they can adapt their style of even of like team building. Yeah, F them picks is done now. Now they're drafting very very well. Yeah. Um, worried about the Aaron Donald loss. That's a big. That's a big deal. Aaron Donald is one of the best players of all time. That loss uh, for the Rams. I, I I want to see that. And I just like Seattle. It, Despite Geno Smith just being as average as they come, I'll still take, I'll still take Seattle. But these are two very good teams. Uh, bigger loss for the team: Aaron Donald for the Rams, all-time legend, great, great uh, year last year, or Bobby Wagner for the Seahawks, his best year last year. Aaron Donald, yeah, 
Yes, Aaron Donald. Aaron yeah. Donald was still playing phenomenal last year. Um, and then you have the lowly. We all year. have the Cardinals last, right? <laughs> Just, is Kyler Murray? I mean, what, where are we? What are we doing with Kyler Murray? I contract wise, next year is when you trade him. Is when you can trade him. They're not trading him. You think trade? You think that's still on the table? I do. I do. I think I. I they could say what they want this year because you have to because it's like a ninety million dollar cap hit. Uh huh. Only idiots do big cap hits like that, uh, where you just cut someone and just dead, it's just dead like money. Eight, like eighty five million. Yeah, like cap like, hit. Yeah, no one would ever do that. <laughs> like the Broncos. Um, <laughs> I think next year. I think this is this is the last year of the Kyler Murray experience, and wow. then they kind of move. On. I have heard anyone on the train of Kyler Murray might be out soon. No, yeah. no, not after this year. I think I think if, if they keep losing like this, AJ, you think they pass on a QB in the draft this year and then still trade him? I mean, I, I, I would see them if I if they use that fourth pick on that's the a great point. Then I'd see them moving along. And, that's and a hell of a bluff. If they pass on it, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's ballsy. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's just I, just, I mean, where are you with Kyler Murray? Like, do, do you think he's a? You know, uh, okay, I don't, those are two different. Those are two different questions. So that's where I'm. This I, is what I believe they are with Kyler Murray. Yeah, I think they want him. I think they like him. I think they want to build around him. I think they're the, that he's their quarterback for the future. Yeah, I'm not as sold on Kyler Murray. I think he's had one and a half good years. I mean, mm-hmm. he's only been in the league for like three years, but. I, I'm I, I just haven't seen him get it done. I know he's an incredible uh, Call of Duty player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, as far as in the field, I don't. I, Terrell, where are you at, in Kyler? I like Kyler Murray. I mean, I think you got to go go wide receiver with the, with the fourth pick, or I think you may trade him back. I think you trade trade back that fourth pick. Yeah. Maybe trade with you could trade with the Raiders. You could trade with the Vikings. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll um, take him. Denver, come please, please come save us. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I like Kyler Murray. I, I think I'm taking the Cardinals over the Seahawks. I'm not sure mm. what they're, I'm not sure what how they're gonna do with with the new coach. I think I like you know, Pete Carroll had that culture there. You know I what? think he had some consistency what. there. I think the I think with the new staff, new regime, you have two average quarterbacks. Kyler Murray, I think he's better than Geno Smith and Sam Howell. So why is no one talking about that team played well last year? That Ooh. team beat Dallas Cardinals. Cowboys. Yeah, yeah, Cardinals played the well. The they played they've they were tremendously under. They beat the Eagles they, late, and they beat the Eagles. They beat Dallas. Those are two NFC power out. I, Let's not forget either. Like two years ago, when he was fine and healthy, they had like the best team in the league. Like probably what? What was it? Like week eight when the Cardinals? Oh, the Cardinals. Yeah. Yeah. They always yeah. had a hot start. Yeah, yeah and, they had and, like, it was like right yeah. when he started getting hurt. Then we started to forget about Murray. We started forgetting about the Cardinals. Now that he's back and healthy, I'm with Terrell on that. I, I don't think they're going to be as bad as you guys are saying they're going to be. I, I I honestly think they could be. A top six team in if everything works out great. And there is a scenario. Go get, go Whoa, get, like go a get. top overall six team? Um, a top like in in the conference. Okay. I, I think they could be like a top six team. If you, you go get a receiver, a Marvin Harrison at four, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's possible. We get Marvin Harrison. Go Look at Gabe with the draft talk. Let's go, I'm baby. Just, no, because I, I just I, I don't like the Murray hate so much because I'm mm. just not gonna forget what happened two years ago when everything was working. When they're just a well, yeah. Work. I mean, it's, they're they were the best team yeah. in the league for like three, four weeks in a row. They were pretty fascinating because last year they played well, and that was with like Josh Dobbs and then a bunch of quarterbacks. And then Kyle Murray came back; they had a little bit of juice. And then you know, some you know, their roster just wasn't strong enough to hold all those injuries. Yeah, yeah I, I, I I could see it. I don't believe it. I don't think they're better than the than the Seahawks at all. But I could see there's a scenario where they could. But just too many question marks. Too many. Too this roster is not not complete at all. If they trade back for that number eleven, number twenty three, and still are able to snag a, a Dunze or some or a good receiver at eleven, and then like a tackle, probably. and it's a, yeah, a tackle or something. I mean, you never know because Trey McBride looked really good last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, Connor is kind of just an ageless wonder type guy. They still have Buda Baker back. Buda there. Baker's back yeah. there. Uh, Gannon's a great defensive coach, yeah. I think. Um, maybe. I have a maybe. Question. Yeah. What do you think? place harder for their coach the Raiders for Antonio Pierce or the Cardinals for? Jim I don't know they both play pretty hard I think the Raiders would literally sacrifice themselves <laughs> <laughs> they love Antonio Pierce so much I like Max Crosby as his like lieutenant is the most perfect thing ever I'm curious to see year two of this uh, uh experience the, the Raiders yeah curious well, you're a Broncos fan yeah no. curious see, I've, I've seen this before but I'm curious to see. <laughs> this, has been, this has been happening since, since '87. I'm just curious to see if they still have the same kind of enthusiasm. Maybe, maybe because they liked him so much because he wasn't Josh, Josh uh, McDaniels, and I mean yeah. that's the reason why they played so hard because they want to prove maybe. him wrong. All that to say, I hate Josh McDaniels. <laughs> 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 Fuck, 
fucking hate where that I guy. really want to land this. Yeah. <laughs> I hope. Josh McDaniels sucks. I want him to watch the show. Don't watch the show. Don't subscribe, Josh McDaniels. See, Antonio Pierce, though, he's if, you, if you've seen him this offseason, he's still playing the part, whether it's fake. I'm not, I'm not saying it's fake or not, but I'm saying he's he's still sticking with what got him there. Like, he's still doing the Raider way and so all still that wears stuff. Jordans and drives down Paula. That's, that, that's going to win you games. <laughs> Anyone else want to touch that? <laughs> No, the right away was just like, it's just it's just you're a, such a Bronco fan right now. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I, I think, you're, I think you're being a Bronco fan. Is he being a Bronco fan? You guys he's not. It? He's no, not. He's, no, 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 no. He's what? Because the right away, what? It's just oh, just being different. They're like oh, cool. You wear Jordans, and like, everyone else does. like that's gonna die out, and then it's gonna be back. Yeah, to the same I'm curious old to see team, when yeah. it gets mm. when he it's it's the, it's the Raiders versus Harbaugh in a must win game. Who do I trust, John Harbaugh or Antonio Pierce? See this, you know what this reminds me of though. This is the same conversation we had about Dan Campbell. Well, what about when the when the kneecap speeches wear off? But when, name it, but, when any any faces, you know, but the floor, it. the great young offensive mind. Then what's going to happen? Well, they're still going to play damn hard for their team. Well, we'll see. Only time like that might happen well as well. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I mean, they don't have a quarterback. I'm, I'm going to get carried away in this. <laughs> Dan Campbell's a one out of one though. There's not really there's a lot of other coaches say that's not fair. There can never be another coach like Dan Campbell. No, no, I'm not saying there can never be an, uh, like like another one. But how many coaches have been like him and did it a work? lot? Tell you what, and though. didn't work though. Oh, did not work. Yeah, a, a lot, a lot more than actually did work. So saying, Pierce I don't know is if that's an, that's just Campbell. saying there's reputation on either side. I don't know if that's like an actual. There's a lot more that didn't work. Raiders. There's there's a lot more that didn't work. I, I'm just curious I, to see. You I just too. think Pierce. Is Where in are you category. at, Terrell? On the Raiders, Raiders, and and uh, Pierce specifically, and the, and the, yeah, the leadership of Tony Pierce is it going to work? No, I, it's it's going to work to an extent. You you still got to have, you, you got to coach your team to you know to some to yeah, you know success. I. It'll wear off. I think uh, they don't have the talent there on uh, at the quarterback position. So. Well, apparently they had, they found the secret sauce to be in the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. So <laughs> apparently, on, but, on, but only they have it. The most rules. I, I mean, there's only like there's only like a couple ways you go into a fight with it with the Chiefs. It's just like super respectful and like yeah, we really respect them as champions, or just like baby face, like what they're doing. Yeah. So I mean, I think they're taking a tactic that you kind of have to if you're just that inferior. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know, man. How did I become the Raiders guy? I don't know. Jeez, <laughs> you somehow landed there, though. How's it feel? Yeah, it feels great. It feels <laughs> great because I've had literally people be like, "I, I like your show, man, but you guys hate the Raiders." <laughs> like, you, guys, you guys just really hate the Raiders. You're some pretty smart, smart fans out there. Then we brought another Broncos fan. Yeah, that's <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, gonna yeah, help. Uh, anything else, guys? No, nothing from us. That is show one hundred and eleven. What's that? If you've seen P. Diddy, please let us know. <laughs> He's still guys, on the loose. You guys weren't the last show. This guy brought up P. Diddy. It's fascinating. <laughs> Over under 20 times. Oh, uh, I heard it. Hey, any update? Oh, oh, I heard it. <laughs> Just fascinating. Yeah, that oh, is yeah. show 111. Make sure you tune in for 100, uh, show 112, where we do a mock draft. Yes, Got a little sir. guest. Uh, guest special. Special guest. Special. There it is. Yeah. Uh, for that show as well. Anyways, have a great week. We will see you for show 112. Peace. Bye.